when life gives you Zareth, watch him, because hey, free algorithms. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we've got my long form video, the one long form content video that I do every month as a labor of love. I don't get a ton of clicks on it, uh, it's okay sometimes, but the idea is I go through all of my teams, my defense, offense, the, the, and everything from my smallest account and talk about what my pro priorities are, what my goals are, what things I'm looking at, you know, data crons, and, uh, you know, just in terms of like taking advantage of using the stuff that I have and, you know, doing the best I can with it. This again has been in Kyber 2 for a while now. It's going to be at 8.4 million, something like that. Uh, so let's let's go through it here, folks. Um, uh, this is usually uh, about an hour or so. We'll see how long this one is. As was she obviously said, she's curious. She always is. Always is. Um, I do have a 3v3 best defensive teams and offensive teams videos video. Those are with my biggest account where I have all the characters at, well, maybe they're not all relic, but it's, a, it's mostly a whale's account. It's a spender's account, let's call it that. Um, and, uh, you know. You can go, I think, I think I will put the links to them in this video at the very least. So you can go check those out if you have a bigger roster and you want to know what the big boys are doing and the big girls. There are some big girls who play this game, folks. And some, some enormous guys. Um, oh, well, look at that. Here's my placeholder from my last videos talking about how I was going to make this video eventually. Uh, we'll just keep that in there. Um, I do have an infographic for the Datacrons this season, um, I, for every Datacron season, and I did update that recently. You can go to my Discord server and get those, send them out to your guild, and all of that stuff. And folks, come watch me on Twitch at some point. You can watch me play live, you can watch my replays at the very least on Twitch. It's all free. Of course, if you don't subscribe or whatever, there are ads. I don't mean to be disingenuous, there are ads on there. Um, and if you want, if you have a subscription with Prime, Amazon Prime, you can just uh, use that to subscribe to my channel, and all those ads just evaporate. It's cool to see things that don't actually exist somehow evaporate, like turn into vapor. It's, um, it's unnatural. So, huge shout out to my patrons as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Um, I just, I can't thank you guys enough. It means so much. Your vote of confidence, your uh, willingness to give this channel a boost, I, I just, um, it is enormously appreciated. Even still, guys. Thank you so much. And folks, if you want to support this channel for free, especially if you like this sort of long-form content, or if you've just got a smaller account and you need all the any help you can get from a competitively-minded player who is also extremely tall, all you have to do, folks, is hit that thumbs-up button, subscribe, comment. Let's mount the algorithm, folks. It's free. Free algorithms. What? What's... What's the debate, folks? I don't get it. Let's let's get to it, folks. Let's get to my account. Whoa, we're in we're in the game madness. Whoa, madness, guys. <clears throat> this is Prime Prevail Man account. Eight point four million GP. We're in Kyber two, and that's not as impressive as it used to be back when I was like seven thousand or seven seven thousand GP, seven million GP. But we're in Kyber two. The problem with Kyber two, of course, well, is there, there's all sorts of problems. The the biggest issue right now is we got squished so hard that we'll actually, even if we win the next the first match, guys, we'll still fall out of Kyber two by. Uh, I don't know. Six skill rating, so we'll be in Kyber three for a little bit. 
The Squish has been really aggressive lately. I think CG's trying to get everyone to a place that they want it to be. It seems like they're being intentional about it. We'll see if that continues to be the case, but for a while everyone was flooding into Kyber 3 and Kyber 2 and Kyber 1, and I think CG said, you know what, we have too many people thinking they're awesome, let's stop them from thinking they're awesome. So, uh, a couple things just as just to understand where this account is coming from. Uh, this account is, it's not free to play. And people get real defensive. They're like, dude, you can't say you're free to play. I'm like, I'm close. And they're like, you can't even compare yourself to free to play because you've spent, I'm, I'm, I don't know. People get really weird about the money spent in this game. And I don't mean to be uh, throwing shade at people who were weird about it. I mean, they throw their own shade at themselves. It's madness. Uh, you know what? I, I am throwing a tiny bit of shade. Like, just, just deal. Please. Please, guys. If I say it's similar... It's because in my mind it is similar. Uh, just because it's in your in your mind it's way different. I suppose we can just amicably move along. But I do spend ten dollars on this account every month. That that's what I spend on it. Uh, I guess every four weeks, if you want to be more specific, because I buy the conquest pass. The conquest pass gets me. Well, first off, I log into this account once a day. Yeah, maybe twice, if if it's a good day, if it's a lucky day. But the thing is, I just, uh, this is my third account. One of the accounts I don't do Conquest on. Sarah is amazing, and she does her, my Conquest on my middle account. On this account, I do the Conquest myself. No one helps me. However, we do, we, we can't do Red Crate. I mean, maybe I could actually get Red Crate on this account, but instead... We're doing things what I call the lazy way, and honestly, it's not that lazy, but it's a little lazy. The idea is, Red Crate is also what you would call Crate 7. Well, what I'd call Crate 7, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, I go for Crate 5 every time. If you get Crate 5, and you buy the Conquest Pass, or if you don't want to buy the Conquest Pass, you don't have to spend money, but uh, if you buy the Conquest Pass, or you spend your Conquest currency that you're earning, like this stuff, on the unlock characters, then in six months, you'll unlock every Conquest character. It takes, instead of three months from Red Crate, you can do it in six months, and that's what I do here. So we don't have Queen Amidala yet, and we won't get her in a week, we'll get her in like five weeks, all right? And that, that's fine, because my Kenobi is just about farmed right now. Qui-Gon is nowhere near farmed, because he's not farmable. And... <clears throat> So, we're, we're also eventually going to get Luthen, or whatever. I think I called him Lotion the other day, for some reason. <laughs> Jeez. I'm such an idiot sometimes. Um, oh, I have a lot more Omicrons than I thought. I must I must be fancy. Wow, so... And anyways, I have I have pretty much all the all of the Conquest characters. Now, the ones I don't have... Let's see, did I just unlock Trench as well? I think I'm close, at least. Let me see, where, where are you, Trench? Oh, hey, look at that. I have, how did I get Sortie Shards? I probably did, I don't know. The gods gifted it, apparently. Um, yeah, the way I have side of Jacob. Okay, so Trench is right there. I'm, I'm not gonna work on him right now. Um, <laughs> I don't even have triple zero unlocked. Um, this, this account is such a mess, because I stopped playing it for about a year, right? So the biggest thing, of course, is Darth Malgus, who, uh, you know, now I've, I've figured out how to unlock him, but it just takes a long time. Like, the it, it's, it's tough, man, trying to beat Malgus with um, with anything on this account. So, uh, let's see, Kieti Monday, where we don't have even halfway, uh, even to unlocked, much less to be able to use in the raid or whatever. I also only have two Galactic Legends. Okay, so that's the other money that I spend. I spend money on my, um, uh, on the Lightspeed Bundle. I, like, a ton of Lightspeed Bundles that I bought. Not all of them. I, like, I didn't buy to get General Skywalker. I did it on my own, guys. On my lonesome. Um, but I, I did buy the packs to help me unlock Kylo and Rey. But I, at, at 8.4, Typically, like most guides would tell you, like I'm way behind in the Galactic Legend chase, and I, I typically just say, I don't, I, like I say fooey, actually. That's, that's probably, that's the technical term, that's the technical way to say it. And, <laughs> no, it's, 
I, I really enjoy, I really enjoy getting, um, using off meta counters and stuff like you using things that aren't galactic legends to beat galactic legends and so that's kind of that's the majority of this philo of the philosophy on this account is how many galactic legends do we really even need to be able to be as competitive as possible in GAC be able to help with raids be able to help with you know all the different things be relevant in the game and effective without the top premier perfect characters and so you know, that's my philosophy. I know that a lot of people who are going to be at 8.4 who don't follow me a lot are going to be like, man, that they'll be uncomfortable. That They'll be like, man, I'm uncomfortable like that. And I, I, I hear you. Um, it's, it's uncomfortable sometimes. <laughs> it actually is. Um, uh, but uh, I tend to do this, folks. I, I tend to follow the Datacrons. I'm, I'm like one of those ancient hunter-gatherer tribes that just follow the buffalo, you know? They're, they're just like, you know, we, we don't, as long as we can live in the area that they, that they go, like, we just have a source of food here. And that, that's what we're doing, guys. The, we live and die by Datacrons, essentially. So, the current Datacron sets are... This, one, this one's going to be tough, guys. I have three of them already at... Um, <clears throat> I, I have the level 6 that we want. So, all of them, the current set, we want level 6 for a lot of them. Um, I have the Nest one, folks. And it wasn't something I was seeking out, but I happen to have a Relic Nest on this account. I wouldn't really recommend most accounts now work on Nest, but back in the day, back when I started this account, Nest was pretty important for a lot of my plans. And this Cron, actually, I was looking at it just now, it looks pretty impressive, in fact. Um, and I did get the right level 6 for it, uh, I guess... I guess we can try here. Let's let's just try to roll this level three. Get something better. Oh, perfect. That's what we want. Hey, look at that. Cool. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll forget to click the reroll button. But um, and anyways, so we have we have that attacker one. I also happened to get the Sabine one, like the and that's the good Sabine one, the bonus turn Sabine one. And I rolled the level six for it. This is actually a little bit luckier than my main account, guys. I, I can't believe I got two of them that are going to be that impactful. I also got the Gar Saxon one. I don't have Gar Saxon really, uh, but I did get the tank, and I, I got the good Gar Saxon. I'm like, I should probably work. I think I'm going to try. <laughs> I think I'm going to try working on Gar Saxon, folks. I've been farming ISC. But, and anyways, like, we're not talking about farming necessarily here, but what I'm trying to say is, I try to shape my roster based on the vagaries of fate as Datacrons dictate. I wasn't trying to rhyme there, guys. It wasn't a good rhyme to try to rhyme with something, but, um, yeah. Alright, the least of my Mandalorians. Gar in here. Um, here, let's, let's just, I also have credit issues, folks. I have credit issues, I have relic issues. Like, can I really spare five relic levels on this dude? And maybe five on ISC? I... I don't know. I... How are all... How is almost half, more than half of the Mandalorian faction on favorites? Like, at some point I'm just gonna favorite everything in, in my roster. And it'll just end up being my roster. That's <laughs> so dumb. How many things do I have? It's just like, you, you scroll for miles. This is embarrassing. All right, let's move on though, folks. So the idea here is to follow the Datacrons, try to make something useful of them, right? And and then we turn that into success in GAC. Here, let's actually go and look, what, what were my results la the last couple seasons? I'm actually curious. I don't think we've done this before. Ah, oh, there we go. So you can see right above my head, it says Prevail Man's GAC history. So. Uh, what, what, how'd we do last, uh, so five, in 5v5, let's see, we went 5 and 4, so I'm, you know, 5 and 4, that's, that's typically enough to keep your head above water, um, okay, it looks like I, I actually went 4 and 5 last 3v3, and, and that's, that's kind of the, that's kind of the struggle that you have sometimes, folks, with this account, some people just notice you, that they're like, oh, you only have two GLs, like, I'm going to destroy you. And sometimes people just say, hey, I don't want to play GAC, and you get wins by default. Um, let's see. 
I, I went five and four right uh, after that. Uh, let's see. I, oh, I went seven and two. That three v three season. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> and then a four and five. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, yeah, a couple four and fives in a row. We could just keep going, I suppose. But five and four. Typically, we get we, we win about half of them. Um, Last 3v3, it wasn't as good of a showing, but it's a tough thing, man, trying to trying to beat some of these people in Kyber 2. We'll see how that keeps going here. Let's go back now to the game, however, and let, let's look and see how how were my defenses, folks. Like, how do we how can we plan? It, last time, apparently, my defenses weren't as as amazing and transcendent as we would hope. But uh, the idea here, folks, is I don't have the roster to be able to beat all of these really uh, strong accounts. I just don't. Um, you know, if someone really knows what they're doing and they ri and they have a bit, most of, the, most of the time they have two to three million more GP than me, usually they can just destroy me. Now the ones that I can win where people just, are, are the ones that people just can't beat me. They don't know, it's like, they, they they fail they fail enough attacks where I can go in and uh, you know take advantage but I can't usually grind them to a halt unless it's one specific team that I use I typically try to full clear and so we keep enough to full clear but we, then we have to put we have to put down a mix of teams that are going to both be effective and uh, discourage uh, you know make people spend a really good squad on it or maybe make them um i don't know you want to make them uncomfortable right you want to make it so that they don't they they either have to overkill something or maybe they just straight up fail on it um or you just get give them an instant win like that that's basically it for this account i can't put down 15 challenging teams in 5v5 that or sorry in 3v3 that's just not going to work and then be able to still full clear i know some people like to do the half board thing and i just it frustrates me so much i don't want to do that that's that's not the way i want to play the game so so we've got i, I put darth revan we don't have malgus yet it's going to be like november or something till we get that dude um in which case we're gonna have to gosh we have to plan this we have to plan so much stuff like once we get malgus then we, we can unlock leviathan anyways folks um so darth revan here not high relics obviously um pro i don't have the best mods either but this this team will will take someone's like a level team if they know what they're doing they could probably just destroy it with a lot of different squads if they don't know what they're doing then it's gonna cost them a galactic legend um CLS, this one gets me a lot of holds. Believe it or not, people who don't know what they're doing just don't don't realize that this squad, uh, especially because we we have the thick crons for level six, because we do participate in getting data crons. Um, they don't realize that this is the best version of CLS. It still is after all these years. Um, so Ray, last time you can see we don't have a datacron here because those datacrons disappeared. I don't know what we're gonna do. Definitely not gonna have Holdo on here. Oh, uh, we also last time, folks, we didn't have Ben Solo. So here, why don't we just do that real quick? Um, even though I don't, I don't know exactly. I don't know if Jedi Training Ray is gonna stay there. Probably, probably. Uh, she's she's like she's a little bit like a. A little bit like a lifter unit. Okay, so I do have Ben. I even have a couple of his Zetas, and I, I, the one that I don't have is the one that ignores Taunt, which I would love to get that one eventually. But then I, I do have one Omicron as well. Uh, for now, here, why don't we just throw one Datacron on here, guys? Just, just as a stopgap. Um, Oh, this is so weird. This is dark side now, but let's see the symbol. But now it's light. It's light side with this symbol. Uh, CG messed up on that one. I really hope they don't just. Oh, it's so frustrating, man. Um. Okay. Do I have anything? I, I want to save some decent stuff for offense at least. Um. Yeah. None of these guys are Galactic Republic. Want to keep the level six Galactic Republic intact. Um. For now, okay. I mean, I'm not. 
but this isn't gonna probably be my final setting for it anyways but you can see we put Ray on here because it, it tends to give a lot of people some trouble they don't just they just don't know how to beat it though without the new Datacron we may end up swapping for Supreme Leader Kylo just to keep people guessing because um, Ray is really good on offense too and it would be kind of fun to showcase how we can kill things with her especially if we use cat or something um, because we, we don't have Jedi Master Kenobi, so Cat is available for it. Um, okay, so we had Kellerin back here. He he was hanging out with Relic 3, General Skywalker. Man, we have such relic, big Relic issues. Um, we had the Kellerin Beck Datacron, which is now obviously gone. It's dead. It's toast. It's history. Um, this isn't going to be the best version of the team anymore, so we need to, we'll need to replace this, probably just with like a classic Qui-Gon team. Plus, I have Relic 5 Qui-Gon now, so we could actually have a Relic Jedi team. We'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, and then, uh, I'm, I'm actually, I need to start, I need to finish Kinesa off. She has 20 more shards, and then she'll be at 7 stars. We can, we can get her to Relics as well. I bought the Lightspeed Bundle for Ewoks, and I happen to have the Chirpacron, which I don't recommend, but if you do have it then uh, that's the best version of the team, but then we can have a Datacron on the team, which is neat, I suppose. Um, in the back zone, usually just have garbage, folks, because I'm hoping that Ray just gets a stop, just gets a hold. I do have a thick Cron on some Geos here, uh, because I bought the Geo pack as well. I buy, I buy a lot of those cheaper Lightspeed bundles, folks. Um, Here's a Karth team that is absolutely worthless. I think I took one of the mods off of Mission recently. Yeah, look at that. It's a big deal, man. I wish I could take her Zeta off. She's so worthless. Um, But I have Karth and, and uh, T3 because they were part of a Lightspeed bundle. that We didn't need them for it, but I mean, the ship is nice to have at Relic 5, I guess. That's true. Uh, fin Fin Poe, like the old school Fin Fin Poe, and they're tougher to kill because we're doing thick crons, like that level 3 cron. Uh, we're going to be using that on a lot of squads here, folks. Um, this Dengar, gar it, <laughs> it's, a, it's more of a Dengarbage team, honestly, folks. Um, just a throwaway team with some relics that might mess with people. Again, uh, well, not even again. Like, we just have a uh, <laughs> dark side cron, apparently, that, that's some potency. Um, and then, I happen to, I just, I rolled enough of these things. I, I got lucky, I guess. Um, I got a First Order Stormtrooper one. May as well throw that on defense. Oh, hold on. Is that, that's Hux, though? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure about it, folks. I, I, I wonder how that did last season. I mean, it's, it's not very good. Hold on one second, folks. I gotta turn my phone on Do Not Disturb. All right, we're back. Um, and then up top, it's it's a very similar thing, folks. We're just trying to put some teams that are going to mess with people and then other teams. that Like these Wookiees, the, the Pets team, get way more holds than you would think. Hold on, which Wookiee is this, man? Oh, that's right, veteran. We need to put a, an arrow on him, apparently. Um, But, yeah, Tarful, some, for some reason, has two Zetas. And then um, we put... Zalbar, it's the, it's the pets team. It's a bunch of pets that they, they don't they don't hold except they get like one hold every season, guys. It's it's <laughs> ludicrous speed. Um, we have the a totally ineffective uh, clones team, though. I did recently get relics for for this fellow. Um, eventually, we I would love to get these guys relics, but I mean, just my 501st is just not anywhere approaching good. These are the two by far best geared characters on that team. Uh, that, that should tell you something. Um, yeah, so Mothra with Katarn and Cara Dune. I, I did get the assist Zeta on her, so if, if people wrecking I think I got a few holds here. People can just target her, though. We don't have the second Zeta. Um, but this just messes with some people. Um, I, I don't know. It messes with, with people who don't know what they're doing, basically. Um, but the... the People throw like Wampa at it, and so, sometimes we can get a stop, depending on the Datacron. Uh, let's see, Boba with Quill and IG. Uh, it's the, like this is one of those teams that'll steal some banners, I guess. And if we're pretty efficient, we can do well. Oh, <laughs> dude, I, I need I need to actually put put mods on this time and Omegas, but I don't want to. Um, this team is only good if I don't even think she has the ability to go into stealth. Uh, without her omegas, guys. Oh, like a 55% chance to gain stuff. Like, it, it's not it's not good, folks. She needs, the, the only way that team ever works is with omegas, and I just never do it. Um, I already didn't do it last time. 
Now, now that we got Morgan Elsbeth announced, that, that'll be interesting to see what Nice Sisters teams come from that, actually. Uh, let's see, okay, so we've got on defense right now, eventually, guys, uh, so things I need to be looking at. I need to unlock Leviathan. One thing I've prioritized on this account, though, is making sure my I have good fleets. <clears throat> Excuse me, and so Thrawn fleet is not there yet because we don't, uh, like, I could get Defender going really well. And now I even have a 7-star Interceptor. I should actually start looking into... I should gear those two characters. I should just gear all the characters, guys. Um, It's on defense for now. This this will probably switch eventually. Um, I, I have the Scythe available to unlock too, but I, I don't have Grand Inquisitor yet. Because I'm a... I'm, how many characters are there to unlock in this game? <laughs> that That's how many I, I need to work on, apparently. Uh, they all need relics, guys. So many relics. What can a man do in the face of so much relics? Um, let's see. We have the Holdo fleet. It's only six stars, so I don't... Once it's seven star, I might flip it to offense, because you can do some interesting stuff. Because we bought that life speed bundle, so they're all good, except for Zori, who wants uh, an unreasonable number of Kyrotex and Zetas and Omicrons in order to make that team work. So uh, eventually we'll, we'll do that, but... And then I do I have a four star profundity. We're slow farming it, guys. I'm doing I'm trying to spend a thousand crystals every month so we can get twenty shards every time. Um, it doesn't even say how close we are. We're we're getting close. Uh, but four star profundity. People don't know how to. It's it's good on defense because on offense it steals like eight banners every time on offense. Even if you win and with perfect score, it still steals banners because of those empty slots. It's real stupid. Oh, look at you, man, putting an Omicron on, on uh, tarples. Cool. Carpal tunnel. So, anyways, folks, it's just a mix. My, my roster is a mix of, let's, let's, you know, force, let, let's hopefully make people misstep here and there. And then also on offense, we can, we can, you know, take advantage of some of that stuff. So, all right. Gosh, it's been 26 minutes of me just babbling on about this. Um, I always put timestamps on this video. I mean, I don't know if I do. I always, sometimes I do. Hopefully this time I will. So, uh, you guys can skip to whichever part that you want. Obviously, um, let's talk about what what I'm doing for teams this year, though. This the, or this season. So. I've got Supreme Leader Kylo here. I guess we don't necessarily need Hux. We could put Crew with this team instead, and then Hux can go do his own leadership thing. Uh, so Kylo's, Kylo has a really good Kron right now, guys. And I guess my biggest problem is I don't have a way to beat Kenobi unless, like with, with Kenobi and Cat and Padme, that, that whole stuff, that whole thing. I don't have, I have the Padme Kron, but I, I don't have... I don't have Kenobi to go with it, so we don't have a way to kill Kenobi unless we use Supreme Leader Kylo, and so I'm typically using it on offense. I mean, maybe we could use Ray to beat that team now, now that we have Ben uh, protecting us from Cat and stuff. But the the idea here, folks, is we need one team to be able to beat whatever asinine garbage my opponent has. And right now, it's, it's, I think it's Supreme Leader Kylo. So we have the Special Forces TIE Piter, uh, TIE Piter, TIE Pilot. Gosh, um, he's, he, he's, we've got his Kron, and that, that makes Kylo really good. We could beat a lot, a lot of different teams. We could beat Jabba with it, we could beat Leia. Though, I, I guess we have Bane now, too. We have Bane unlocked since last time. So we can use Bane to kill Leia. Uh, this probably just kills Kenobi, and I don't I don't know if I want to risk. The problem is, of course, is Rey going to be too easy to beat now? She doesn't even have all of her Zetas yet. We also have a Zeta problem, folks, on this account. We don't have enough relics or Zetas or gear for everything, but um, is, she gonna, is this going to be enough on defense? I'm just not sure, folks. Um, it's not enough in the like, top of Kyber 1. Obviously, but at the bottom of Kyber 2, uh, you know, somewhere in Kyber 3, we want to get some holds with her. I don't know if she's going to just stop someone. Kylo might end up just cold stopping someone, depending on what they place. 
I just don't know how we beat Kenobi. So that, that's the kind of conundrum we have here, folks. Like, you have to recognize what things you can and can't beat. Right now, Kenobi is a, is a serious problem. Like, Bane, especially without his Datacrod, is not going to beat Kenobi uh, with Cat and Padme. But Kylo can. Maybe Rey can. Hmm. I'll have to think about that, folks. Um... So, uh, most likely I'll keep Kenobi. Or, sorry, most likely I'll keep Kylo for offense. Now, Adrad, I, we, we have... I'll be good. I mean, it just depends on how many Datacrons my opponents have. But, uh, you know, Adrad is so good in 3v3 because people, t inevitably, they're, they're always going to be placing teams like Aiden on defense. Um, and he just destroys Aiden. They'll be placing their Dark Trooper Moff Gideon team, which I, I want to be working on that team eventually. But like, with what with what materials do we have for that? Uh, so this team is money on offense, folks. I would re highly recommend not placing it on defense. But you, you do you, man. Um, let's see, Bane. We don't necessarily have to do Red Trooper with Bane, uh, though. I guess in threes, it's not as big of a deal. Like, I, I don't have so many characters tied up on, on other squads, but, I like, uh, in fives, the only other character that could go with Bane, I just used Darth Vader as as the guy to just get be sacrificed and killed, because I just didn't have any other Sith on this account reliced up. Uh, Red Trooper, I don't, I don't think Red Trooper really has much of a place right now, unless we do something with a Hux team. But the problem with that, of course, if we, if we make a Hux team with like First Order, uh, First Order Stormtrooper, Kron, and all of that, that, I mean, that's fine. But Red Trooper, I mean, he, he can go there. I guess he could be the third, because we, we don't have First Order TIE Pilots on Macron anyways, but I don't know. I, whatever Sith, Whatever Sith we have available to go with Darth Bane on offense is who we need. We need Relics, of course, because that'll boost Darth Bane's stats. Um, Alright, so Jedi... We, we mostly just... Uh, I don't... Guys, I, I need 400 Kyrotech to gear up Jedi Knight Luke. I need to do that. I fully recognize that he's, he's probably the next on the list for the Kyrotech. You can tell, though. You can see I don't have Kyrotech available right now for him. 30 out of 50, guys. Um, we have 100 of that one, though. Ooh, we could get Shock T up to Relics. Ooh, we could do it right now, guys. To Relic Zero. Alright, I need to think about it more. <laughs> we also have an Omega Crunch problem, folks. Surprise, we just have problems. Problems on problems. So, um... We, we do have Jedi Cal unlocked, which is great. He, he's been super helpful in killing those Malgus teams, which Malgus is a huge problem. Um, and sometimes we use, like, my gear 12 Basti. I should look and see how close we are to getting Basti done as well. She's I think she only needs two more pieces. But um, in threes, yeah, we, we can use some combo of these Jedi. A lot of times we can just use, ba even gear 12 Basti, with, she doesn't have a Zeta either, with Cal and, I don't know, we could also use like old Ben, some kind of tank, and as long as Cal is functioning, like he'll kill Malgus and usually take out Darth Revan and Basti as well, um, or, or, you know, Mal Malak, whoever. Uh, you know, maybe we want Yoda, maybe we want Mace, one way or another. Uh, sometimes we can preserve Dar or Jedi Revan and a couple other good Jedi. Now, now I'm starting to get some decent Jedi on this account uh, to, to kill other teams like, I, I don't know, like a Beskar Mando with Han and Chewie, something like that. Um, I, I don't have enough relics to really challenge some of the really, really tough teams out there. So typically, if I can just get one kill on a really strong team with my Jedi... Then the rest of them might be able to snipe something really minor at the in the back zone or something, but I don't expect too much from my Jedi just just to kill Malgus, kill Malgus and move along. Uh, now, so this is my current project, folks. You can see I finally got enough Zetas. I I, I wanted to apply her leadership Omicron, but you need Bogatons. Uh, you need Bogatons Zeta on her lead first, and I, I don't have any Zetas available, so. How close are we on, on Zetas, folks? We need six... Oh, my gosh. Um, So I would love to give her two more Zetas eventually. That would be awesome. That would be so good. Uh, and then 
Eventually, maybe we'll put her second Omicron on to ignore Taunt, but first we need we need laptops, guys, and it's not they're not available. So we'll get there eventually. Maybe, maybe this season this season she'll be relic. I don't I don't know to what degree. Like I would like to be ready to go for for the new um, not the new but the Rise of the Empire uh, mission to get to get. The special mission for for GT2, but one way or another, she'll she'll be a factor. She should be able. The the biggest one of the biggest flaws in this account, folks, is I don't have something that kills Lord Vader super consistently. Uh, Sabine is going to be really interesting here because I have her Kron, and so she's going to be taking a ton of bonus turns. Uh, so that actually, and this is this is part of why. This is part of why I uh, want to show what you know. Show you this month to month is, I, I don't know if you have Sabine. I don't know if you. I had to get her relic like five to be able to use her here. But if you don't have Sabine, if you don't have her available, um, or, or maybe you do have Sabine, but you don't have her Datacron, she's not going to be the best with Bogaton Mandalore. And in week one, I doubt I have Bogaton up to relics, so I can't even. I'll have to find a different use for Sabine on week one. Uh, eventually, I think for weeks two and three, it's pretty solid that I'll have Bogaton Mandalore ready for it. But Sabine is going to be really good on this team. If if she doesn't have her Datacron, she's not nearly as strong on this team. And so uh, then we we have to do Pat, well, like put Paz on the team, or maybe we could put Beskar Mando, someone like that. But uh, what? Well, because we have Sabine available to go with Bogaton Mandalore, that opens up. I, I have Maul, and Maul is great in fives because he'll, he'll go with like a Seer Malakos team and just destroy something. Because Malakos loves to assist Maul, and Maul takes like six turns in a row a lot of times. So that's a wonderful thing. But in threes, Maul is just kind of left hanging. He's just floating there. Um, so all what I would like to do eventually. Maybe one day I'll be able to relic up Candorous. That would be amazing because then, uh, you know, then we could we could really we could really do some stuff. But because we don't need to put Paz with Bogaton Mandalore because we have Sabine, then we could put Paz with Maul here, and uh, the, these two will, will probably destroy some stuff. I put Django here as a placeholder. We could maybe just put Watt as someone to get the you know get the party started, so to speak, um, or someone fast, someone else who's fast. Um, we could also maybe in week one. <laughs> I don't know. That this sounds weird. Maybe in week one I'll put Sabine with Maul, and we'll just use that Kron. Oh, that seems that seems so ridiculous, actually. Maul will get a bunch of extra attacks as well, I think. Man, that's that's pretty gross. And having Maul without anything to do is one of the reasons I would love to get Gar Saxon uh, been running as well. Um, anyways, uh, so, you know, this, this is why, like, when I chase the Krons, I, I know that this isn't necessarily something that everyone can do or has accessible, but... With this account, like you kind of have to make the best of things, and so Sabine is going to she's going to be a factor because I have that Kron, and so Bo putting her on Bogaton, putting her with Maul, something like that seems seems like it's going to work out pretty well. Um, we can also maybe just do like a weird Phoenix team with Sabine. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do like Hera with Sabine and Krex. I, I don't know. But stay tuned, folks. Come watch me on Twitch. You'll see. You'll see what I'm doing. Um. So yeah, Maul, um, I mean, with Paz here, he, Paz is really strong with Maul, actually. Paz, Paz hits so much harder than a lot of people think. He just, with bo he just becomes like this tank. And that's fine, that's what she needs. But but on other Man Mandalorian teams, Paz does some crazy stuff. And Jango, I don't really have a use for Jango, because usually we want to use like that GL Newt team, but... Uh, Newt isn't taken, but B1, I think, is going to be taken with Grievous, uh, which we'll get to eventually. Um, okay, so CLS, we'll just keep this intact, probably put it on defense for the most part. Um, the Maul team, this might be an interesting option to just put on defense as well. I don't, I don't know how much that'll mess with people. I don't, I don't think he's super fast, so I think people will just be able to counterfeit. Yeah, I think, I think they'll just go in and nuke them too fast, so... Probably just put, probably keep it for offense. CLS, this team speaks for itself on defense. It, it does well, um, even with no Zetas on C3PO. 
let's see. Okay, so it, this this one, this is a really interesting um, situation here, folks. Trying to figure out exactly what we want to do with Star Killer because back when people had the really strong Ray teams with with the good Datacrons, we needed Seer Malakos and Star Killer to take out those Ray teams. Um, we needed all three of them, but now. Uh, with weaker rays out there, we might be able to get by with just using like an EP Mara team with Star Killer, and then we could use Seer with Malakos, and then either Baby Cal or uh, Fulcrum Ahsoka to take out another Galactic Legend, or we, we take out we take out Ray with this team, and then and then we can use EP Mara Star Killer to take out like Jabba or something like that. Like that that could actually be a pretty viable. Uh, solution, but if we do end up needing to use Emperor Palpatine, Mara, and Star Killer to, or sorry, if we need to use Star Killer with Seer Malakos, uh, that to kill Ray, then we'll be left with, um, we'll, we'll be left with like a an EP Mara team, and and the question is how do we use them? We, and this is why we keep. All, all these teams that we can just kind of mix and match and do do what we want with, so to speak. Like we don't want to put them on defense because that's too confining. It's too too much of a uh, a situation where if you put them on defense, you don't have them available for offense. And a lot of times, especially for a roster as small as mine, taking on these ten to eleven to twelve million. GP accounts, a lot of times you need to be able to custom build your team. You're like, man, you know, what I really need is Cal is going to keep us alive for a long time. He, like, he's going to be really good here. Uh, so we're going to put Cal on the team and, sorry, Fulcrum. Or no, we need a little extra hitting power. Fulcrum Ahsoka can go with the team, etc. Um, now, let me get a drink, folks. Uh, if, if we don't end up using EP Mara, like, there's still a really strong tool, even without any Zetas on Mara, <laughs> um, or, or any Zetas or Omegas on, or Omicrons on Reva. I, I have Reva, my guild has unlocked Reva for me, and I was like, you know what, Let, let's get a Relic and see how she does. In fives, it's really fun to put her with Seer. Yes, it's luxury, but it's just fun to see what, like, what you can do. Um, <clears throat> with EP Mara, you could put Reva with them for a, a solid tank. You could put Vader with them uh, for like endless turn meter for the whole team. You can do a lot of different stuff. You don't want them on defense though. People can game that. They, there's, I mean, you could just use you could just use Adrad to beat that, honestly, folks. And so this will be on offense and just trying to mix and match this whole thing. Like it, it's a very challenging thing to describe. I hope I'm communicating my intent here clearly. the The intent is we want to be able to take down <laughs> a lot of different teams, and we we have to be flexible enough to make that happen. And so, like, the EP Mara team, especially because I keep my Mara Jade fairly quick, yeah, she's 366, she needs to, uh, you know, like, this team can actually take out some of the decent teams that people are going to be putting on defense, um, especially with the shock, the control factors, everything. And, um... We won't. We wouldn't have that flexibility if some of this, some of these pieces are just on defense. So, what are they gonna kill? I'm not really sure, folks. Uh, they they do kill quite a bit, but it just depends on what what we need to do. And Vader, we have other uses for Vader as well. You can see the little, um, you can see the little diamond. I know my shapes, guys. Shut up. And uh, that that just means that they've been used for other teams like they're already spoken for like the unique only takes that off so um all right let's just move on folks it, it's a quagmire it's a whole mess how do we kill things in 3v3 with just ep mara no one knows a lot of people like to just toss them on defense and it just it kind of makes me sad I, I feel like you're you're giving up on some flexibility there um, <clears throat> okay, best Garmando, uh, uh, more and more I enjoy this team, uh, like, if, if we can find another good attacker Kron from the current Datacron set, these guys attack so many times, like, Han shoots, then Chewie shoots, and then Han, because Han crit, he'll shoot, uh, well, shoot again, and then he'll shoot again, and shoot a third time, and then Chewie will crit, hopefully, and he'll shoot again, and the whole time, every time Chewie attacks, guy, uh, he already does percent health damage 
uh, like in, as a, in the background, like he does two instances of damage every time he shoots. And, and now, I think if he shoots out of turn, I think he does a third instance of true damage. I, I don't know. He, he's you're going to melt B ones that are on defense, folks. If if you get that target, but this team is good. To um, if I can roll another attacker level six, folks. This team, I really want to test and see can it take down like a, a general Skywalker squad in threes because the current level six for general skywalker squads are also really good um you know keeps still keeps their damage way down so can it do that I, i'm not sure i think this team even without a super great cron is pretty good on offense on defense doesn't do as much so probably but this is why we keep a lot for offense folks um we want teams that can operate at a high level, function at a high level on offense, that would all also just get, I mean, like, Nice Sisters probably beat this. Maybe, I don't know, Best Bando might have something to say about that, but, you know, you can use Nice Sisters if, if they, if you know what you're doing, you can use Nice Sisters. I've done it before. Um, you know, uh, or even, even just like a, even just a, an ad red team could beat this. It's, it's nothing too crazy. So, uh, moving on. Um, I don't really have a place to put Cat right now. We could put Cat with Ray, and that that would be why I would want like maybe we could actually beat the Jedi Master Kenobi teams with Cat of uh, Cat and Padme with my own Ray and Cat. I'm not sure. Uh, typically, we just use Padme with Cat, and then you know we could use Snips, we could use General Kenobi, something like that. I do have the. I do have the Padme Kron, and it, it takes down a lot of stuff. It won't kill a Galactic Legend necessarily on its own, but this will this, this team is pretty flexible, and it'll take down some of the pretty heavy hitters. It, it's also fairly reactive. If if someone has a really good attacking level six Data Kron that we don't want to deal with, uh, like she does, she does really well against teams that have high volume of shots that assist each other a lot she she could actually this this team will this team will take out something important most matches uh it's just it's just up in the air we have to make sure that we use her special strengths uh to our to our benefit sound like i'm a corporation but um so dash I mentioned Nesta. I wasn't trying to get her Kron. She was only Relic 4, actually. I just had to scrounge to get her up to Relic 5. But I just... I even I even threw a Tenacity Kron back on her. Because I, I think if she gets dazed, she could be in some trouble. Um, So, uh, yeah, she's not very fast. But the Data Kron says that she's just going to ramp damage depend, like based on how many turns your opponents take. So she could be really slow, which is really interesting. The question is, does she need to be with Dash or not? And I, I kind of think I, I want Dash as kind of a way to keep Nest alive, you know, because we have Vandor, we have the Omicron, we keep, we'll keep her alive, and then in the context of that situation, Nest can go and just destroy things. I think this might end up being, uh, depending on which GL we're facing, this may end up being a team that could beat some kind of GL because that Datacron ramps her damage up like crazy. I'm really interested to see how this team ends up doing. My main account does not have the Nest level 9, uh, and I don't know if I ever will, so this, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see how this team ends up. Uh, let's see. Throw the Revan, probably just put them on defense, folks, because yes, they do well on offense, but people fear Darth Revan. They don't know how to deal with him. And honestly, if if you can get into a situation where like they've loaded turn meter or something, it's a very challenging team to beat, even with these super low relics. Um, gosh, I, so at some point we need to get Veers up to relics as well, so that we can put a Datacron on this team because this team is going to be decent with the current Datacron sets. They they do some cool stuff. Piet's not really that useful to me on this account because he does, there's no like Lord Vader to go with. I don't even have Gar and ISC to go with him. So basically, just have to use this squad anyways. And not having a Datacron for the team is is kind of kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. But we do have the relics on Dark Trooper finally, so that's that is something. Um, th this all depending on if my opponents. That's another thing, folks. The Omicrons that we're that, that we're using are usually like the way we can overcome the madness that our opponents have because they have way higher GP than us. We have the Omicrons, or I think Omicrons, so many Crons, uh, Datacrons are able to 
overcome a lot of those big issues. I'm not really sure if this is enough to, to really overcome them. Um, I, I, I don't know if Datacrons are enough to overcome some of these crazy opponents, but it would be nice to have them available. And that's why, that's why, and you, you can see that if you followed the progression of my middle account, my Professor X account, everyone wanted to be Relic 3 or Relic 5 uh, because Datacrons are so important to our success here. And uh, yeah, this, this team, this team gets used. Invariably, it gets used on, on the most asinine stuff that my opponents place. So, <laughs> And it can also, if we put more relics on Dark Trooper, where are they coming from? I don't know. But we can also clean up like a Lord Vader squad if we needed to. Now, oh yeah, so we, we talked about earlier what about the defenses that I had. That I, that I, uh, and Keller and Beck, I even have his Omicron on, guys. It's the only Territory War one I have. But what to do with, with them now? now? Now that we, um... You know, obviously the Omicron doesn't play any part in GAC, but what what, is, what part does this play, or does the Omicron play with uh, Qui-Gon and, and all that? I'm not really sure if this is the best. Like, we could put Anakin here instead of Keller and Beck. That might end up, that's probably a little stronger. Or maybe we do double Anakin here. But I don't know what, then what, what do we do with Keller and Beck? Maybe I'll just put some Jedi. I guess one of my throwaway teams could just be a Keller and Beck with two Galactic Republic Jedi. And if people misstep, I mean, he's still pretty resilient and strong. We could we could probably do that. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, I, th I think I think that makes sense because I have a few Galactic Republic Jedi just just sitting on their hands right now. Um, I think that sounds better. Now, bounty hunters. I don't even have Embo. I love I love Embo in threes with with Grief and Fennec. Now we can opportunistically. This is another reason why we want to keep that Bando Han team, Han Chewy team. We want to keep them on offense because sometimes we'll we'll swap out and sometimes we we could just put like Boba Fett here. We could put Jango Fett. We could put a few different scoundrel leads. We put Bando with. Fennec and Grief, and you can take down opportunistically some Lord Vaders, depending on what you're facing, you know, what, what gear levels, what, if they have Thrawn, it kind of shuts it down, but mostly, like, if they put, if they put, like, Maul and Royal Guard, you, you can take it down sometimes, and that, that's, that seems to be a fairly common one at the lower levels, um, if not, then Bosk, Grief, and Mando can do some pretty cool stuff, Fennec, Man, I would love to get her more relics too. It's so so embarrassing sometimes. I'm like, your guy's only relic seven, and I can't kill him because Fennec has just no offense. I, I even put as good of mods as I can. I just you just can't overcome it, folks. So this team will clean up like a a lone Malgus. It'll clean up. It, it's really good at cleanups. Won't clean up Jabba in threes, but. This will this will do some decent stuff at some point. CG will wake up and update bounty hunters. I hope. I really hope, folks, because they they really need really need a boost at some point. Wampa. I don't have the Wampa Cron yet. The level nine. I don't know if I will. There's a couple different Wampa Crons that are good, um, or that that are available, and I probably won't try for it too much but in threes he typically finds something to kill or at the very least one thing i really like in threes is if you fail an attack but you kill some stuff wampa is really good at cleaning up and then you get a couple banners back with it um now if we want to do like a build a bear kind of team where you know vader needs to kill like night sisters for instance uh you can you can have the pre taunt with crew and then watt can just keep him taunting forever and then give vader the weapons tech and then suddenly hey you can't uh, you know we deny your revives etc and uh, you know watt will invariably die because he's re he's gear nine and he doesn't deserve Cairo tech right now so uh, that's that's one thing if if we don't if we have vader available um you can also you don't have to have crew here you could have uh you know whatever tank the the as long as they're fairly resilient watt's going to look out for them um i guess a tank that has a bunch of protection is kind of preferable just because he the tank tech re re regenerates 30 percent of that uh, of their their max protection every time they take a turn so you know dispels all the debuffs you know how how the tank tech works at this point but 
yeah, uh, this is all about that flexibility that I was talking about earlier. Now, if we could roll uh, level six for this team, then Savage just is just gonna go absolutely nuts. A level six from the current Kron set with uh, for for the supports because Treya and Nihilus are both supports. So funny, man. They're so supportive. But uh, yeah, if we could if we could make that happen. That would be wonderful. Um. Usually on offense, I've been thinking about putting it on defense lately, just because we need something else to help trip up our opponents, but they're so good with their Omicrons, they usually take down, like my opponents will place this on defense, and then I don't have a way to kill it that easily, to be honest, folks, and this team, we, we could maybe, we could maybe kill stuff, like we, we usually just do the, the mirror. And it's miserable. Sometimes it doesn't work all the way. But usually we can find a way to come out ahead. Now, the Grievous team... Would, it's so, so dumb that Stap has more relics than Grievous. But what, what are you going to do? This team will... I, I want to test it against Inquisition. I think it'll take down some Inquisition at least. On offense. May, maybe we just throw it on defense, though. The, my, my problem being... I don't know if we just get destroyed by Night Sisters or not. If we just place this on defense, probably Night Sisters beat it, right? That's what I would try, or or even just like an Adrad team. That seems like this team should just we would not do that well on defense, but we, we might find out this season. Probably keep it for offense initially. Uh, these are a bunch of worthless-ish characters that I just put here so that I could continue. You know, when you create new squad and uh, whatever comes up here, I just wanted them out of the way. So. Uh, let's see, we have the Geos, not that great. The, the, I just throw them on defense in the back, and they never get holds, because everyone knows how to beat them at this point. We have Nice Sisters, and whatever our needs are, people are like, hey, how do you do two splits? I mean, maybe we'll do that split with Asajj and Zombie and Acolyte, if I get off my hindquarters and actually put mods on Acolyte and put our Om Omegas on. That we might do that split. Really, that my favorite split is probably Talzin, Marin, and Daka. Anyways, the the thing about having Daka, uh, yeah, th th this is probably my favorite team. You, uh, the core two characters though are usually going to be Talzin and Marin, and we have, we have the Omicron for Marin. So yeah, probably these three, and then the other two can go with uh, with Acolyte. Maybe eventually we'll, we'll have another team with with what's her name. Um, I, I don't remember her name now. The, the new character. I, I said it earlier this match. Uh, Mothra with Kyle and Kara. Not, nothing too crazy. Well, you guys saw on defense. Probably just do that again. We have Bobo with Queel and IG. Probably put him on defense again. Fin Fin Po once again. Just hanging out here. And, uh, you know, we don't have any Zetas for the team. We don't we don't have any good mods for Finn. But, but if, if they can... Th this actually... If we can get make it so that people don't if they get the first hold with them and then get get turn meter loaded, this team is a pita to shift. Honestly, it, it even even now it still is. Yes, Zori makes it a better squad, but put it on defense. Uh, may as well take advantage of the relics that that God has bestowed upon us, right? The light speed bundles, and then finally we have the Rex 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 team, like Rex and Rex Rex people. Um, I know that this guy's name is Fives. I I can read. Don't don't believe those rumors, folks. And I mean, probably on defense. It just the problem is people can just burst it down without a datacron to protect them and without relic levels to protect them. They can just kill Rex right away, or they can focus down Captain Rex or even Fives. Uh, without relics, this team is uh, just not as not as resilient and strong on defense. But I don't know what to do with them otherwise. I mean, I guess I could do that Sabine team like with Hera, Rex, and Sabine. That does sound kind of appealing. And this team, maybe we just swap this out for that, that weird Keller and Beck team. I bet that the Keller and Beck team would not do worse than this team anyway. So uh, that's, that's it, folks. I mean... Do I have everything figured out? No. Are we, are we cruising for a bruising? Are we just going to get destroyed in Kyber 2 and then 3 for a little bit? Maybe. Probably. Um, but we, we are we are putting some things in place where one, once Kenobi stops having a really good Kron, we could probably beat it with Met Bogaton. Um, and and even, even if... I mean, Sabine might unlock 
that anyways well we'll just have to see folks there's there's a lot of things going on with this roster trying to make sure that we're staying relevant and we're competing at such, such a higher level than this account should really be at anything could really happen honestly guys so that's all i've got for you um you know let me know what your thoughts are would love i hope this helped hope that this overview it continues to be a good thing i would love feedback guys if you don't want if you want something changed, if you want me to look at other things, if you want me to be less verbose about certain things, I, you know, feedback is, is always welcome, as long as it's respectful and helpful. So, I'm going to let you go for real. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember, that in all things, Zareth prevails. Ooh, just barely under an hour, too. Fancy.